G'day, how's it all going? Uh, yeah, so my name's Richard Graham, and uh, yeah, I have a tour business where you become a Sydney local in a day. And when I was thinking about what I was going to speak about for five minutes, I thought I'd pose myself a question whether starting a business in your 20s is a trick or a treat. <laughs> so really, uh, my story began when I was five years old, uh, when I started travelling with the family. Uh, my parents thought it was a good idea, instead of investing their money in private education, uh, every Christmas holidays we would go and travel to a new country. So by the time I was 18, I had uh, travelled to every continent, uh, bar Antarctica, um, and I really uh, got that experience of travelling like a local because we never took tours. So when I was 24, looking for a new business idea, I decided to travel from the top of Mexico, all the way down through Central America, boat over to Colombia, top of the Andes, all the way down to Tierra del Fuego, and then all the way, almost back up. Um, so it was 14 months uh, traveling, and it was really, again, embracing that style of traveling that I was used to with the family. And when I was in a 1966 Cadillac, cruising across the desert in Peru, um, I came up with that idea of how to become a local. And you needed a car with soul. You needed a car where there was already an experience uh, when you first hopped in. And I took those ideas, uh, and then when I came back to Sydney, I did the research, and I found that there were no tours in Sydney that really felt like it truly represented what it was like for us to live here. And so then I went in search for a vehicle, and I found a 1964 EH Holden. Um, out of 256,000 EHs made, um, there are now only a few left, uh, and I have a Premier, and uh, there's only about, I don't know, say 2,000 Premiers ever made in the colour I have, and there's half a dozen left, so there's a rare as hen's teeth. And even though I thought the, the females, I'd be attracting females, I'm actually just really just attracting, you know, workmen. They just really love my car. Hey, a nice car, mate. Yeah, thanks. And so really, uh, with no experience uh, in the tourism industry, um, again, at the age of 24, 25, I yeah, embarked on um, creating this experience. And since then, uh, I've, I've had an incredible response, mainly from high-value journalists, um, as now I uh, look after high-value journalists for Tourism Australia. And that's the real treat, where now I I'm exposed to people that I'd never ordinarily have been exposed to. And because of my youth, um, I can ask questions. Like I was, uh, I was at Jed's Food Store in North Bondi, a uh, really cool, funky cafe if anyone uh, is in that area. And I had Cindy Adams on my right, who is a New York Post columnist, and her PR manager that was traveling with her just to make sure she didn't say anything. Um, uh, and this was two weeks before the American election. Uh, with uh, Romney and Obama, and I'm a huge uh, US uh, politics fan. And yeah, I, I was sitting there, conversation wasn't really going anywhere, and I said to Cindy, look, who's going to win the election? Not knowing that she was far right, he was far left, and two weeks before, they had both met Obama and Romney. So he looked at me in horror, because she'd never been asked anything like that because everyone obviously treats her in a certain way in her bubble. And again, because of my youth, I could sit there honestly and, and openly ask that question. And we had a very interesting conversation um, about, um, yeah, their, their own opinions. They, fortunately, they both thought that I was either a Democrat or a Republican. And so, uh, and so yeah, it's those type of experiences that, that I'm now uh, privileged to. And, it is really about, um, for me, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, sharing experiences, sharing who we are as Australians, um, because we are very friendly people, we're very open people, and, uh, and that's the way that you become a local, is, is to be open and create that environment. And really, is it a trick or a treat starting a business in your 20s? Uh, I think it's a trick or a treat starting a business at any time. But I think that really if you're open and honest with yourself 
that you really your, your core values and the reasons why you want to enter into business are true and usually not based on money. Uh, I think that yeah, you have you have the full full uh, success uh, awaiting. So um, yeah, pleasure to speak with you all this morning. Uh, any any questions afterwards? Also, if you run a really cool ride in a '64 Holden, <laughs> it's actually just parked out the front. I'm going over uh, further down Ultima. I'm more than happy to give you a lift. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks very much.